Hey guys, what's up? This is I'm a Genius here, and today what I have for you is a quick Pokemon Go tutorial. And I'm going to be showing you how to catch Dratini, a lot of them. So right here, if you haven't heard of this Pokevision website, I'll drop the link below. But look at this, there's just a field Pokemon here. And this is in a California location. Again, I'll put the link below so you can find it. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to filter by the Dratini, because there's just a huge nest of them right here. And as you can see, look at all those in this small little area. That is crazy. So that's where we're going to go and catch all these. And I'm going to show you how to do that. This is going to be very easy. As you can see, you can catch quite a bit and evolve them into a Dragonair and then Dragonite as well. I'm not sure how many candy you need to do each of those evolves, but because I haven't evolved them quite yet. But you can stock up on the, the Dratini candy. So here's the app I used. And here's the location. And if you can't try to like pay attention to this location as you zoom in, it's right next to Sacramento, as you can see. I'll put it. I'll put this uh, zoom in slower at the end of the video, just so you guys can see it a little better. If you don't catch it here, but basically this is where the location's at, to the right of Sacramento, above the Elk Grove, right next to the Rancho Cordova. Is that what it is? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Yeah but that's pretty much where it's at. Again, I'll give you the exact address and then I'll slow in. I'll slowly slowly do this zoom in at the end of the video again for you if you missed it. But this app is called Lock It To and if you don't know where to get it, it's from the Google Play App Store. And there's a little precursor to that. You're going to have to watch another video just to make sure that's working properly. But Again, I'll, I'll drop a link in the description below, but here I am using the actual Lakitu app, and look at that, just three seconds into walking, basically, there it is, a Dratini, that easy, and there's this fields and flocks of them, and they're pretty easy to catch, you don't, most of the time you don't need a great ball. There you go, that's how easy that is right there. And I'll just walk a little further. And as you see, every time I catch one, I kind of pause it just so that I can don't run past too many of these. And in the app, you can kind of play around with the speed of what you travel, and you can catch up to these guys a little quicker. But I just set it at 20 miles an hour for the travel time. Because obviously, for one, I don't... You know, look at, this is a little sped up right here. Look at that, two Dratini in the same corner. The people that actually live there must be extremely lucky as you can tell by the gyms if you see that I pass by uh, Dragonites just own the gyms there alright great ball we'll get this guy I'm just gonna show you a couple catches that I got with this and basically how to use it and then I'll show you a couple other cool little tricks by the end of the video as well so just, uh, just bear with me Oh, little side note on this. Since I am from Illinois, the Chicago area, and I had to use this app to go all the way into the California area, you kind of want to slowly go into it, or you don't want to go straight from logging in and then go in uh, one state halfway across the country and then go into the other half of the country. You'll get what's called a soft ban, and it'll the Pokemon Go won't let you catch any Pokemon or do anything basically for I think two three hours is what I heard and it's just temporary the last two three hours it's not permanent or anything but you don't even I mean I wouldn't want that still avoid that so what you're gonna wanna do is you know when you're in the app you gotta close out clear all the data and then switch to another state wait like 15 minutes before going or Another option is using that uh, itinerary or Lakitu app. You can click the plane mode and set it to go like from your home to this location and put it at like 350 miles an hour. I think that's what a plane goes at roughly. I don't know. And you'll get there in no time and it won't soft ban you at all. And you can catch all the Dratini you like. 
So as you saw, I caught quite a few Dratini in a very short amount of time, as well as hatch, did I hatch an egg? Yeah, I hatched an egg a little bit ago. That's one thing this works for too. I have another video on that and how to hatch an egg with this this little workaround hack. But as you can see, the speed I only set to 20 miles an hour. Here I am zooming, zooming out and panning back into the area of the right next to Sacramento. Yeah, this is great for just using, if you want to use the PokeVision website and just find Pokemon like this that are ultra rare and hard to find, then I think that's a great method to easily find it if you don't have the time or if you want to walk around, have the app walk around for you when you're not really walking. This is another great alternative to do that. Uh, that's basically all I have for you guys here, showing you the area. Here's how to kind of use the map right here. You can, here's how to set your points. You just, you find your area, you click the start, and then you can set all these different waypoints to make sure you go through certain areas you want. And as you remember on the PokeVision website I showed you in the beginning of the video, you can kind of see where most of them are at in this location and set your waypoints there so that you'll hit them on the course of walking. And so, yeah, that's about all I have for you guys. Uh, this is I'm a genius, and thank you guys for watching.